Hey YouTubers, what's up? It's me, yours truly. I am back to do my first response video of the year to Jeff's first thread video of the year. Um, he didn't waste any time, so I want to kind of jump right in on it, make sure I put in my two cents as always. Um, as far as what's playing in the background, you'll probably hear some funny stuff along the way, but I was listening to uh, my TV Tunes CD which is basically just a CD that has just a bunch of, you know, show tunes from sitcoms and dramas and all that kind of stuff. And it sounds kind of quirky, but it's actually one that I like listening to a lot. I mean, I was at the gym this morning on the treadmill, and I was actually listening to it. So it's, it's kind of good stuff. But anyway, that's what I'm listening to in the background. But let's get to Jeff's thread, which was basically kind of showing your most valuable records, the records you spent the most money on in your collection, anywhere from 1 to 10. So I pulled out about eight or so, and uh, as always, let me know what you guys think. Um, and actually, one thing I should mention is that, oh, I'm thinking about one more that I completely forgot about. I'll grab in a second here, though. Um, one thing that I've always done with my higher price records, which most of those I bought a while ago. I haven't spent big sums of money on records in, in a while, but... You know, like many of you, I'm sure, I don't have money just growing out of every crevice. <laughs> so, what I used to do was, I did a lot of flipping and reselling of things that I found. Like, if I went to a record store and I was browsing through, and maybe I saw a number of albums that I knew, those typically go for 10, 15 bucks on eBay, and it's only $2 here or $3 here or something like that. I would buy those albums and sell them on eBay until I built up my PayPal account to where I had maybe a hundred or two hundred dollars in there or something like that. Then I would use that money to go towards a big purchase of a significant record. So I did that on a majority of the ones that I'm about to show you. So I may be kind of cheating on the question because all of these records aren't necessarily the ones that I spent the most money out of my own pocket on, but they are the ones where the most money went to someone for the particular record. Uh, it was kind of cool because for a while I got really good at that. I, mean, I was going to Goodwills and buying everything from, you know, video games I might have found to Star Wars figures to you know records, tapes. I mean, I was just like a monster on eBay there for a while, just <laughs> flipping all that stuff. I think the best ones I ever did was after I already had a copy of ACD Ball Breaker and I also already had a copy of Van Halen Balance. I went to a record store that just got in a bunch of used stuff and they got copies of both those records, and they were each priced at $7 a piece. And I'm like, holy cow, I'm snatching those up. So I got ACDC Ball Breaker and uh, Van Halen Balance for $14 total, and I sold them both on eBay for a total of about $110 for the, for the two of them. So again, that turns $14 into $110, and that went into buying one of the records I'm about to show you now. So. Anyway, let me, I'm explaining way too much into that history. Let me just kind of show you some of my more valuable pieces. Number one here, you have Sigur Ross. This is the Untitled LP. This is the two, it's a sealed copy of the 2002 original issue. This isn't the reissue that came out a couple years ago. Um, the reissue typically goes for about $25, $30, maybe a little bit more, but around $30. The original issues are going for anywhere from, depending on, you know, seal or not and condition, of course, about 100 to 125 for a, a nice sealed copy like this. So that's definitely one of the more prized pieces. And again, I cannot remember off the top of my head how much of the amount I paid for this was flipped money and how much was out of my pocket. But I know my out of pocket was less than the amount of flipped money that I put out. And exact same thing with this. Matter of fact, that Van Halen that I was telling you about and the ACDC, that money went towards the purchase of this album, which is uh, Smashing Pumpkins' Melancholy, Infinite Sadness. At least I think it did. So long ago, I can't remember. Um, but anyway, 3LP, Smashing Pumpkins' Melancholy. You know, this is not one of the original numbered versions. And, uh, you know, this will go anywhere from... Uh, $125 upwards of 170 somewhere in that ballpark. So again, it was good to flip and make some extra money in the purchase of that. 
Next we have Stone Temple Pilots Core, one of my favorite albums from the early 90s. One of the, I think one of the heaviest albums out there. I mean, so much punch inside this album. But anyway, uh, I love showing this because I've shown it a number of times in different videos. And I'm sure you guys have probably noticed, I didn't mention, I've got a set of Blake sleeves. A package came in the other day, so these are some of the first pieces that I've transferred over into my Blake sleeves, which for the most part, I'm just going to put my higher dollar albums in there. So I'm not going to switch out all of them because it'd just be too much of a pain with over 3,000 3, plus <laughs> sleeves. But anyway, so uh, Stone Temple Pilots Core in Blake sleeves. You know, this particular album goes anywhere from 80 to 100 bucks. I was watching two on eBay the other day that both sold for 100 apiece. I'll do that sometime to kind of get a frame of reference about what the album is worth. You know, just kind of look and see what people are actually paying for it. So it was kind of cool to see that's actually gone up quite a bit since I paid for it. But like I said, that typically goes from 80 to 100 bucks. Now this is one that I do know that I paid all out of pocket for. There was no, I do remember there was no flip money on this one. But it's uh, the Melvin Houdini, which was well worth it because this album is in, I mean, absolute mint condition. The album is flawless. You know, with all this heavy black trim, there's no white edge wear anywhere around it. I mean, it's just a perfect copy of this. And I think I paid $60 for this one. And again, I don't think there was any flip money included inside of that. So, yeah, but again, to the Blake sleeves, those wonders for that cover that's already in kind of an awesome, colorful cover. So good stuff. The next one here was one I got for Christmas. It was one of my, my big gifts one year. And it's um, ACDC Stiff Upper Lip. So again, this was, you know, absolute perfect condition. These typically go anywhere from 60 to 80 bucks, maybe a little bit more than that. So again, it's very nice to have one in complete and total perfect condition. Here's another one which I believe also had some flip money included in it. But uh, U2, All You Can't Leave Behind. Another one of those covers at the Blake sleeve just does wonders for... I mean, it's already kind of a plain cover, but then it just really pops with that little extra shine put in there. But anyway, uh, this typically goes for about $100 or so. So that's another, another good one. This is another one that I paid full price for, and this is because I didn't really have time to get any flip money. Um, one that Derek showed in his video, which is uh, Catherine Will. And actually, Derek was the one that guided me to this, this specific album. Um, not Catherine Will, but I mean this actual copy. Because i have been drooling over his for I don't know how long, and one day he sent me a message and said something to the effect that I bet if you looked on eBay right now, you would probably see one. And of course I went and there was one that was up for auction there and I didn't have time to raise the, the, you know, the flip money like I normally did so I kind of had to just jump in and buy it. And I think I paid about 60 or $65 for this one. So about the exact same price he paid for his. So that's a really good copy, really good shape. Now, if I, I know for sure this one had a lot of flip money involved in it because I wasn't willing to come out of that much money out of pocket. <laughs> but uh, Dave Matthews Band, These Crowded Streets, very nice 2LP set, perfect condition. I think only 2,000 of these were made. Really good album. Uh, this one typically goes for about anywhere from 200 to 240 depending on your copy, condition, all that good stuff. But uh, this is probably the most valuable record in my collection right now. So that's Dave Matthews Band. And the very last one here. Uh, actually, I'm going to show one more. Virgin Scorpion Killer. Scor Virgin Scorpion Killer. <laughs> it's a little dyslexia going on there. Scorpion Virgin Killer. Let's try that. Um, this is the band cover, obviously. And uh, I got this one off of eBay as well. I mean, these typically go anywhere from 60 to 80 bucks, somewhere in that, that frame. 
uh, depending on how good a copy you get. And this is a really good copy. And this is one I got off of eBay that a guy had listed. And uh, I tried to buy a number of them prior, but eBay kept knocking off the listing. So I contacted this guy as soon as he listed the album. And I said, hey, eBay's probably going to knock this off. When they do, contact me and let's work out something. And sure enough, they knocked it off. He contacted me and everything ended up working out. So that's that's Scorpion's Virgin Killer. And then the last one, the one I forgot about, would be this one right here. That's what I was thinking about. White Zombie, the Sex Resist, which of course has the classic um, Thunder Kiss 65 as well as Thrust, Welcome to Planet, Motherfucker, and just, I mean, all kinds of good stuff. It's a great album. But anyway, that was one that I got off of eBay, too, and I think I paid about 60 bucks for that one as well, and I, I don't think there was any flip money involved in that one. So that's one that I spent a little penny for, and this is the one that is on the clear vinyl, of course. So, so anyway, those are my picks Thanks, Jeff, for getting the thread thing rolling. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. And look forward to the next 364 days of the VC. All right, take care, guys.